Welcome back to Love and Junk Food. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we have a different sort of video. It is first day of October as we film this and we realize that winter is coming and not only that, our foods change this time of year. We have more like stick to your rib foods and casseroles and we're interested in doing some meal prep and that kind of thing. Our freezer was a full, full, full. Oh. So let's have a look. No judgment. You show me your freezer. <laughs> <laughs> so we have this contraption on the bottom of our refrigerator and um, in the top, there's always popsicles and ice. That ice just lives there. That's our little scooper for the ice. And that is mostly vegetables and popsicles and a few other things. We'll get into it. Yeah. We've already started to empty this out, as we'll show you here in a minute, but it was full of different, like, we didn't even know what it was full of because it was so full. Yeah, we still don't. So what we're going to try to do is plan the majority of our meals using stuff in the freezer. Um, it's fun to save money that way, but, and so every once in a while we'll do it for that reason. But for this reason, as you can see, our, frigger, or our freezer... It <laughs> just needs to be cleaned. Yes. Um, and we need a little bit of room as we change seasons here. So, Because we like to make soup and freeze it and that kind of thing. There's just no room. Nothing. All right. So here's the stuff we've taken out. More popsicles. More veg. I don't know. <laughs> we don't know what that I is. I think that's spaghetti sauce, but I'm not. Yeah. For sure, we've got, we went to a little um, German place close by. We have some knucklers. Um, this is different pieces of chicken that we need to use up. Brats over there. Um, hash browns. And then we have this, which we have frozen so that uh, we can make ice cream and... Yeah. Guess what? We never made ice cream. And we have a bunch of cream in the freezer now, so I think it's time so we can get that out of the freezer. All right, there we have it. All clean. We got rid of the old ice. Yep. Everything's all cleaned out. All right, so here's the meat. A couple things we threw away because we questioned the age of things. Normally we're pretty good about writing stuff, but some things we missed. We figured out that's chili. We remembered. Yeah, yeah. We remembered. So we have chili. That's chicken. That's chicken. That's chicken. And that's chicken. <laughs> we're just two <laughs> people, so I feel like... Every time we buy a big thing of chicken, we use a little bit, and then the rest goes in the freezer. So that's what we have right now. I don't know what else we're having, but I know one of the things is going to be chicken, yes. for sure. And we have these knockwurst and garlic sausage, hot dogs, Nuremberger, is that mm -hmm. how you say it? Yeah. And then those are some other brats that we got locally so um before it gets too terribly cold we thought maybe grilling one day this week as yes, well yes, and have yes. some of this stuff and then this is I don't know, scallops. Let's see. yeah somewhere it says it's scallops so that's the meat time to get that back in the freezer here's the frozen veg we have we do like to use either frozen or fresh whenever possible, just our personal preferences. With the exception, I would say, of beans. We use dried or yeah. canned, canned yeah. beans. So anyway, here we have chopped spinach, zucchini blend. That really feels like more of a this time of year thing. So I feel like we should find a way to use that up. Corn, always have to have corn. We always, literally, we always, always, have, always corn. have corn, if corn nothing else. Yeah. Um, broccoli stir fry we love to have stir fries and that might be on the agenda for this week since we have the veg and we have plenty of meat to do that so rice cauliflower we really enjoy that to cut out some carbs but also we just like it um there's a couple casseroles we make that use rice cauliflower and 
I already mentioned that it uses rice, cauliflower, and chicken. So we'll see when we get to the meal planning portion. We'll tell you what we landed on. And then this California style vegetable mix, broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. So there's the veg, time to put those away. And here's the rest. The miscellaneous. So pizza rolls, tater tots, Fettuccine Alfredo, a little convenience meal. I don't really remember buying that and or know why we have it. Because we don't usually have that sort of thing. But every once in a while for a lunch, I'll eat something like that. But I don't know. Uh, fries. We have some cream cheese. Yeah, turkey breakfast sausage. There's one of my little breakfast sandwiches right here that I like. Yeah, you're down to your last one. Taquitos. We love those every once in a while. Here's a variety of burritos. We both love burritos. These are all for John, I would say, for lunches. Did you forget they were in there? Uh, no. Okay. I knew they were in there. <clears throat> steak and cheddar. What's uh, that one? Uh, steak and cheddar. A different steak and cheddar. <laughs> this is a organic chicken cilantro lime. And there's another chicken cilantro lime. <laughs> so, oh, and these are both reds. And these, oh, yeah, you were going to do a versus. Or we were. Yeah. That's right. One's from Aldi. Crud, now we got to figure out what's what. Anyway, so those are more like video or special burritos. Here's the kind that you get a hundred of them for a dollar. <laughs> Just kidding. They're probably like, I don't know, three fifty, four dollars $4, but bean and cheese burritos. Yep. And then my favorite. Same thing, beef and bean over here. Um, the mystery, the mystery. These are sort of like a Hot Pocket type thing, but we don't know what they are. Yeah. We don't remember. Um, crinkle cut fries, my favorite. Onion rings, my other favorite. Some Rhodes dinner rolls. We love those. These are the kind that you set out and let rise and then bake. Bake. They're so, so good. Hash browns. And these, we love these too. These are the fast food style. You can't really see anything on the package. French fries. So... Well, let's get it put away, and we'll show you what it looks like. And here's after. So the top, uh, of course, that'll be filled right back up with ice. Ice machine has to get going on that. Over here is our treats. You can see popsicles. I don't know if we showed we had Cool Whip. Some chocolate. Jen loves chocolate in the freezer. Yes. That ice cream thing is not going to live in there, but we're going to yeah. make some ice cream. Yeah, so it has to freeze because it's got, like... Some sort of liquid in the drum. Yeah. Um, yeah, so these are all our popsicles that we've got there. And, <laughs> you know, that's pretty much a popsicle drawer. We're always afraid of running out of popsicles, so we always buy some. But see, now that we've cleaned it out, we know we won't have to buy any popsicles for a while. These little Capri Suns down here that we have tucked there, um, sometimes we put in a cooler when we're going to be, yeah, when we're going to be out all day. And we use them, like, to keep grocery is cold or whatever and yeah. then by the end of the day they're or close to the end of the day they've melted and we can drink them they're still cold all right let's see the bottom all right here we go so on the right we have meat and vegetables and on the left all that miscellaneous stuff yeah the um the potatoes and the burritos and all of that extra stuff is down there so anyway we got, we got a lot clean. more room now. We do. And just in time for us to go to the store. We'll let you know what we decide we're going to have this week. All right. So there you have it. That's all we needed to get. Yeah. Not too bad. Now, since we didn't have to get a whole bunch of other stuff, uh, you'll see in an upcoming grocery haul, or I don't know which one. We never know which one's going to be out first. We did since we were... Not getting that many groceries, go ahead and get a few extra things. That's right. <laughs> I needed a pair of shoes, and we each got a pair of pants, and, you know, that kind of stuff. Just stuff. There's always a million places to spend your money. Am I right, or am I right? But here's our menu from our grocery cleanout. We're definitely making homemade ice cream. Yes. For sure. Yeah. None of those ingredients are here. We already had those ingredients. We had everything. Yep. Yeah. Um, that's just an extra like end of summer treat and we want to get that thing out of the freezer. We're going to have these jumbo stuffed shells and we like to make that with sausage and spinach, um, ricotta and cottage cheese. We kind of mix them together for the filling. 
And then we're going to have brats. Yep, and with so, the brats, we're going to have this maple um, cured bacon, baked beans. Yeah, I guess we picked those. And then buns are for the brats. And then we're going to use up some of our scribbles and scraps of all those potato things that you saw earlier. We need to. And then, oh, and so also for the shells, um, that's what the sauce is for. That's what this Italian cheese is for. And these mushrooms along with garlic bread. Yep, and then we're also going to do a stir fry, and we had everything for that, so the only thing else that we got were, was this teriyaki sauce. Yeah, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, wait, I lost count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen things is all we needed to buy, and um, we have, I don't know, several Days worth. I, we always have leftovers when we do stir fry. We always have leftovers when we do the shells. So, and probably the chicken as well. That's right. Not too shabby. And we have more room for more popsicles in our refrigerator. Oh, yeah. We should have got some more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyway. Thanks for hanging out and making us accountable for cleaning out the freezer. It so very badly needed it. It sure did. But time, you know. We have been so busy lately. Everything around the house is kind of, not everything. We've been doing surface cleaning. But you know all those little projects you need to do? Extra yard work. Like, in other words, we've been able to keep up with mowing, but we haven't been out there like pulling weeds and all the extra stuff that kind of goes by the wayside. So now that we have a little bit more time, a little bit more cooking, and we're able to get in some of those little projects. So come find us on social media if you haven't already. Love and Junk with No D over on Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel along with the game channel, along with the newer channel. Uh, links to all those channels down in the comments of this and every video. Now, if you love saving money, yes. or having a clean freezer, right. or us, or the video, give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel when you do that. That's all we have for today. That's it, guys. See you next time. Bye.